Hello, good evening, and welcome back to my third New York vlog. If you missed the first one, I explained that I'm in New York for my birthday, which is on the 22nd of December, and I'm here for around nine days. So instead of doing nine individual vlogs for Vlogmas, I thought I would break it up into a few kind of meatier vlogs. So make sure you watch vlog one and two. I do also have a huge guide on my blog with all the best New York restaurants and stuff. And on my Instagram, there's also a little highlight reel called NYC1, NYC2, NYC3. They're all there for you. I would love to have you as part of the family. And if you are watching Vlogmas and you haven't hit subscribe already, please hit subscribe. If you're just here for the New York vlogs, hello, I'm Em. I think this is maybe like my 12th time in New York, maybe longer, but I'm so thrilled to be back. I'm so happy. And we're here for, yeah, my birthday on the 22nd and then just to enjoy Christmas time in New York. We've just been with some gorgeous friends over the weekend and we've got to catch up with loads of our US-based friends, which has been amazing. And now it's Matt and I and we have just checked in to our final hotel of the trip. We saved this one for my actual birthday because it was my dream to wake up on my actual birthday here. So come and enjoy the final few days of my 20s with me, which is crazy. Yes, I know I've been celebrating all month, but finding my friends in London and giving them all like a time that they can do so close to Christmas is difficult. So we came to New York instead and celebrated my birthday at the start of December. So we just ordered some room service. I'll give you a very quick room tour. We have checked into one of my favorite hotels in the world, the Langham. It's amazing if you want to do like this tourist site because everything is really close to here. So. Let's come and show you a room tour and then I'll show you the food. So guys, this is a bathtub. Look at this view. Can you even cope? We're on the 27th floor. It's actually insane. I feel like the luckiest person ever. I just love it so much. And even the shower is just stunning. We've stayed here before and we just love it so much, but this room is levels. And they even have dipped heat toiletries this time, which makes me so happy. So you can see the room through here. We actually have the bathroom here, which is like an extra bathroom, again with the dipped heat toiletries, and then it's getting a little bit dark, but you have Matt in here, who's resting up and feeling a little bit better, and then we have a big bed, we have insane views, they even gave me my own balloons, a dream, the views are just insane, and then this is our food, so we're going to eat now, Matt's had some noodle soup, how was it? Pretty nice. The food here is really good, we've got some champagne, I got a salad, oh, there's bread in here, did you have some bread with it? And there's some fries, so bon appetit to us. Oh my gosh, Matt just told me this thing's over here. <gasps> oh my goodness, I did not realize. Look at this, so the Langham theme is all pink. And look at this, this is actually insane. They are so thoughtful. Even when we checked in, it wasn't my birthday. We got some really cute stuff. And look at this. Oh my gosh, I could cry. This is so beyond special. Thank you, Langham. I was just saying that mine looks amazing. Look, they even put a little pink. Oh, I went for a prawn salad with tomato and mozzarella. The food is so good in here. Oh my gosh, they very kindly brought me some champagne. How lucky am I? I feel very lucky. Matt went for literally a plate of fries and a soup, but noodle soup's meant to be really good if you're not 100% well. And look at this view. Best restaurant views in New York, right? Gorgeous. A lot of money for that. I know, and look at this view.
was in such a rush when I came in, I know. And Paddington's literally my favorite, and look, it's Paddington in pink. The Langham, I know, how cute with the Langham hat on. It's so cute. Barry's to dinner. From Barry's to the ballroom. The watch is killing the vibe, it's gonna come off. <laughs> um, we have dinner tonight. I need to tell you about Barry's, but I'm gonna head to dinner first, because I'm gonna be late. Uh, we're heading to Zuma. I have always wanted to take Matt to Zuma. The one in London is really good, and I heard the one in New York is amazing, and it's right next to our hotel. It's five minutes away, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna walk there, and I will tell you about Barry's on the walk. But I'm wearing this cute gold dress, and I'm wearing my birthday shoes. Two days until my birthday. This spinach salad is so good. I had it in London. I'm so excited for Matt to try this. Our favorite rock shrimp. Good morning. to secure the 8 a.m. slot at ice skating. Can you believe that people start ice skating here from like 7 a.m.? Which I guess would be amazing because you'd actually see the sunrise during. Um, but I'm way too tired for that. Being very tired this trip, so 8 a.m. Hopefully means I can walk up Fifth Ave and see some Christmas lights and stuff without too many people. Basically read online that it's just chaos at Christmas, as you know, as it should be. Everyone's here wanting to enjoy, um, but apparently it's just absolutely crazy. Um, so I'm up and out early. I sound like I'm getting ill. I really hope I'm not. Um, but yeah, I'm just quite tired, but I know it's gonna be so gorgeous out there. So I'm gonna get myself out there. And I'm actually meeting my beautiful friend, Emily, for some ice skating. We always ice skate together. If you watch my Somerset House vlog, you'll know Matt doesn't ice skate anyway. So he doesn't feel like he's missing out. He doesn't like to ice skate. <laughs> but Emily is ice skating with me. So we're gonna ice skate around top of the rock, which is so special. Like around the Rockefeller tree. I've never done this, but I skate in Central Park, which I love, which I'll hopefully do later on in the week, probably by myself, Matt can watch. Um, but yeah, today I get to ice skate with Emily. We ice skated in Central Park together last time. So it's gonna be nice to do this together this time. Dinner last night was amazing. The service at Zuma was insane, like perfection. They had some amazing cocktails and obviously Matt's not really drinking, but oh my goodness, we said we'll go back when like he's 100%. It was so good, the vibe, the food, oh my gosh, the black cod is amazing, and everyone was just so nice in there. So I really enjoyed that. Barry's, I did a Barry's ride class, which is like Barry's boot camp, but without the treadmill, and the bike instead, which is just so cool. Like, I definitely prefer the treadmill one, but if you're someone that loves spinning and wants a full body workout, we did 25 minutes bike, 25 minutes on the floor with weights, so I really enjoyed that. Right, on that note, I'm going for a walk up Fifth Avenue.
This is wild, as if I'm on here. It's so weird, I've never actually been on here. I look down all the time. Yeah. I can't actually believe that we're here. And this is actually Emily's second time because she's a New Yorker now. So you get to do this stuff, how insane. Worth getting up so early to this. The best thing about my hotel is it's only a 15 minute walk here. So it was literally perfect, but I think we're gonna get off soon. I feel like we've been for way over an hour. It's amazing. It's chilly, and I forgot my gloves, but like when you're on here, the adrenaline and the excitement. <laughs> the adrenaline the of adrenaline. it all, the adrenaline. The excitement, and the cutest thing happened. Louis Armstrong came on the tannoy, like singing a Christmas song, and that was my Nana's funeral song, so it's like, she's here. I don't mean that in a morbid way, I mean that in a positive way. Positivity always. I can't believe we just skated on here. That's kind of crazy. That was just amazing. I'm so sad there's a line because I love this bagel shop so much. Black Sea Bagel. It's like Willy Wonka, isn't it? Yeah, my ears pop. Since I last came, they have a full coffee shop in here. I feel like this might be a Starbucks, I'm not sure. Maybe people just have Starbucks with them. But they have a coffee shop up here now, how great. And then the view. Isn't it insane up here though? Like no matter how many times I come up, I'm just like, wow. It's insane. Wow, wow, wow. From ice skating to top of the rock. Emily was saying she's not done this since a school trip. How many years? Like years ago. And now we're just up for like way over 10 years. Way over 10 years. <laughs> I, I haven't been up here for maybe like, I didn't come up on my last trip, but it's so nice to come up here. I just think it's like the most perfect thing to do. And the weather today, we are so lucky. We literally went ice skating and walked up to this. It's just insane.
Okay, I went up the beam. So basically, I don't know if anyone knows the iconic picture of kind of like the men sat on a beam, like a metal beam. That is what I did, but obviously not the iconic one. I did my own version of it, and it's a modern day version, and it was, yeah, it's really cool. You should definitely go and do it for yourself. This is what we were trying to recreate with the beam. How cool. It's bagel time. I honestly dream about this place. I am so excited. They also do a hot honey, which sounds amazing, but I'm gonna get the everything bagel BLT style. We did the beam, we did top of the rock, and we got a black seed bagel. The beam is really, really cool. So you basically go up it on like a machine, which hopefully you saw, and it's just so cool. Like it's not that scary, so you should definitely do it. You can add it onto your ticket, and it's a new thing that they offer, so obviously I had to do it. Then lined up and got a black sea bagel. Honestly, Top of the Rock is just an absolute must-do if you come to New York, I have to say. I still, like, it has my heart. It's just such a special thing to do, and also so bucket list to do ice skating as well. So bucket list moment secured. Now this is how busy. Oh yeah, we got our bagels. What did you go for? Everything bagel, scallion, cream cheese. Mm, I got everything bagel, BLT. It's crazy how busy the streets. I was literally walking down it this morning and there was no one on here and now it's so busy. This is New York at Christmas time, baby. Wow, wee, it's gorgeous though. But yeah, that was bucket list. I skated here in the Rockefeller, which is just so beautiful with the big tree. And then, did you do it in the evening last time? Mm -hmm. I bet it's gorgeous when it's lit up. And a tip if you are coming to the top of the rock, it will be busy, but if you get there at like, pre-sunset you get to do the sunset and the darkness i did that when i first came like years and years ago and it's absolutely amazing but we got the most amazing morning light this morning um and we wanted to do it before we got too busy but it was just stunning i forgot how much i love going up the rock like it's just insane isn't it mm -hmm. overrated for a good reason yeah no it's really really good Gorgeous library, and they actually have an exhibition in here. I love that the hotel has a hot apple cider section here, so cute. <laughs> I love my Brenda so much, but I can't believe there's such a long line. I feel like everyone just loves lining up here. Oh my gosh, so good for dessert. In our gorgeous room now i can't believe how pinch me this morning was i literally can't believe i ice skated at the rockefeller and then we went up the rock which i forgot how special it is and emily had asked to come up with me because she just hasn't been up in years she thinks 10 years and we were both like wow this is insane we got to do the beam which is just like mind-blowing maybe if you don't like heights you wouldn't like it but it was just so cool that you get to like go that high up and the history behind it we had the most crisp perfect day then headed to bryant park because it's literally just minutes away from the hotel like a five minute 
minute walk and they have that ice rink so maybe I should go there as well but now we're actually heading to a really special rooftop that we went to like on day three of our trip but we're going again because it's a 10 minute walk from here and I want to watch the sunset from there so we're going in daylight I got a 4 p.m reservation thanks to the amazing concierge at the Langham honestly I'm so excited so I'm heading there now We got, what did we get? Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. We're going with. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. I was like, I hate mustard because they brought a mustard dip. It's fine, guys. The mustard is in the dip. Cheese and views. Cheese and views. Cheers to us. <laughs> Emily just made the best comment ever. I just said, um, what better place to watch the sunset on your 20s um, as we literally just watched the sunset on the last day of M's 20s. How insane is that? I'm just a poet. And we, I'm a poet, don't you know it? Oh, and know it. and we also <laughs> spent like the first days of my 20s with you, which is so exciting. Look at this. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. I'm so happy we came back. So we're back from the amazing rooftop and now we have special views of our own. We need to open the curtain so we can see out the New York lights. Do the honors. So ordinarily we would be going to lots of lovely restaurants, but we've canceled our dinner tonight because Matt's just resting up, aren't you? And actually, what did you say when you looked at the menu here? You were like, the menu is the best I've ever seen the hotel. Genuinely, the room service at the Langham is amazing. <gasps> this is the butter you've got. Go on your steak. The food is so good here. Someone once told me, go to hotel restaurants because you know you're going to get the best food ever. And oh my goodness. It's just always so good at the Langham. But they've changed their room service menu. And I feel like they had so much choice on there. So Matt got the steak and I got the... <gasps> rigatoni a la vodka also these chips are like the best chips ever they did have loads of other things but we went for like comfort foods didn't we i am bundled up to go outside at the start of our trip it was really really warm and we were like wow it's so mild and now it's so cold after living in montreal i always thought i'd never get cold but i forget new york does get cold max and i once came in january and it was minus 10 but then this january when i came because i was here in january it really wasn't that cold at all, but right now it definitely feels cold. Dinner was lovely. Rigatoni a la vodka, which was so delicious. Probably one of the best I've had, actually. Honestly, hotel food is so good if it's a good hotel. So now wrapped up because I'm going to go and do another Barry's class. I got myself some more credit, so I want to use my credit. Um, I booked a really late class. I just changed onto a late one because we cancelled dinner. So it's all good. It's all worked out. And then I'm actually meeting Emily for a drink, saying bye to her. She said she has some Christmas presents to give me and birthday presents, which is so nice. I'll be saying bye to her because she's flying back to Canada. And then our other friends that were here, one of them actually lives in New York full time, like born and raised, so he's still here. And then the other one, she flew back to San Francisco. So, yeah, all of our friends are flying. Oh, another one actually flew back to London today. So, we'll just be Matt's night left from tomorrow. But hopefully, Matt rests up and starts to feel 100% because I want him to feel perfect in time for Christmas and everything. And then we can come back and redo some of the things that he's missed out on. But rest is key. So, yes, I am not going to go and rest. I'm going to go and do another class. At this point, I think this is like my, I don't know, I've done a lot of classes. I've tried so many different places. Um, so, yeah, trying another new one tonight. Barry's or the bar? Which one would you prefer? And just like that, I am back from class. That was probably the hardest one I have done. I don't know if it's because I've done so many since I've been here that now my body is sore, but it was an S and abs class. And oh my goodness, the 
try them out at the start. I also don't know if it's because I ate so much before I went to the class. I did also just eat a Levan cookie a second ago, which was so good. But the treadmill at the start, the rounds were so long, and I was like, oh, I'm probably going to be sick. I don't know if it was all of that brigatoni pasta, I'm not sure, but it just felt so pinch me walking up Fifth Ave. I can't believe I just get to walk up Fifth Ave home, which is so cool. I just love New York so much. I'm thinking I'm going to do myself a nice little bath post Barry's bath with these insane views because I mean this is just probably the best bathtub in the world and then I'm gonna wait for Ellie to text me and maybe we could go see the Christmas lights together this evening because I haven't actually seen them in the evening yet and I bet they're absolutely gorgeous so let's see. I got some presents from Emily and oh my goodness, wait for this. First thing I got these which are so, so, so cute for my house and then I really don't think I can show swear words on YouTube so I'm gonna just hide it. Pretend it says something else, but how funny is that? What a candle. And I was just literally saying to Emily at drinks earlier, how lucky are we, we pinch ourselves that like we're just sat in a bar in New York living our dreams. So I feel like this is very fitting and I feel so lucky to have such a wonderful friend. I've been friends for 10 years and how lucky am I to go into another decade with her, I guess. Very, very lucky and feeling very loved. Good evening again. I have got my face mask on. It's like a drink cup mask. I love it and it just makes my face feel amazing so i'm gonna sleep in this and make myself feel all nice and hydrated by the time you're watching this if you're watching this today it is officially my birthday now not in new york but in england um because obviously i'm five hours uh, behind so that was officially my last workout of my 20s which is wild and technically by the time you're watching this right now it's my birthday which is so exciting um so i think i'm gonna have an early night get some beauty sleep and then hopefully have an exciting birthday. Thank you so much if you're still watching my vlogmases. If you made it this far, let me know your favorite flavor of birthday cake. I actually like birthday cake flavor. Also love a Victoria sponge, a red velvet cake, and I'm gonna obviously treat myself to a birthday cupcake on my birthday. So I think I'm gonna do a birthday vlog and I'm really, really excited for it. So I will see you guys for the next one. If you haven't hit subscribe, maybe a birthday present to me would be that you would hit subscribe right now and give this a thumbs up and come say hi on Instagram at mshalex. I'm so, so grateful to have you as part of my channel. Truly I am. I'm reading the comments and it means so much to me. So thank you for being here and I will see you for the next one. I hope you're all feeling very excited for Christmas.